Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new storyline card to review today thanks to my homie G. Paul with his uh, Bundesliga-oriented squads. We're looking at a card by the name of Zhang Wu Young that we're going to be checking out today. I might be pronouncing his name wrong. I apologize if I am. But we're taking a look at a card that is 5'10", medium, medium work rates, 4-star skills with a 4-star weak foot. Um... In regards to his base card stats, he's got 96 acceleration with 86 sprint speed. So very, very strange acceleration and sprint speed to give this card because of certain chemistry styles that you'd be looking into in regards to giving him. Uh, shooting on the card, he's got 83 attacking positioning with 85 finishing and 71 for shot power, uh, which isn't necessarily ideal. It's very important to have a higher shot power so that the card actually feels... Uh, mostly similar to his base characteristics, right? Um, in regards to his passing stats, he doesn't really have crazy passing stats either. He has short passing, but uh, dribbling stats are okay for the card. However, he does lack in the reactions department on the card. He does have 77. Uh, he does have 96 agility with 97 balance, which is definitely very helpful to have, of course. Um, ball control at 87, 86 dribbling will make this card usable. Um, the problem with this card, guys, is that no matter what chemistry style you give him, he's obviously going to be lacking in certain areas. So you will be using this card for fun in your Bundesliga teams for an 82 rating because of, you know, a future uh, objective. Like, you guys already know that a card like this is probably going to be needed for something like that, right? So with this card, ladies and gentlemen, I'm kind of like, I'm thinking between like a marksman or just leaving him on the basic or just even giving him a a dead eye to significantly increase his shooting. I think to make him as usable as possible, I would give him a dead eye because I really don't think with a marksman you can drastically improve how this card is going to feel in the game. So um, I'm going to give him a dead eye because I want to try all his base characteristics in regards to dribbling because I don't know what that's going to be like in game. My boy Paul coming in clutch as he normally does. Um, but this is the team that we're going to be using. Bundesliga Paul over here. We're going to be using this card in the... I want to try him up top first. I want to try him up top first. So we'll have Lewandowski playing in the cam position. Forsberg off to the right side. Like this. And then Leroy Sané off to the left side. So I just want to try him out as a striker to see if he's good in the lone striker position. Maybe I can use him as a cam. Um, I do mostly see this card being used in a right mid, right wing position. Maybe even right attacking mid. Uh, but we'll see how this card performs in game. The instructions that we're going to have for the striker, just for the sake of the review, is only going to be come back and defense for the striker, and then come back and defense for the cams. While we have stay back while attacking cover center for the CDM. So let's get into a game, see how he plays. Hopefully, he is a usable card. <laughs> Maybe he surprises me. Who knows? Oh, this is an interesting team to come up against. Actually, <laughs> we'll see what's up with that, guys. I'm not going to be able to cut my hair for a while now with the lockdown. Hey, boys. <laughs> As dribbling is pretty usable. It's not terrible. I Like I said, I do think you have to give a card like this a dead eye. So it's just one of those things, you know? Ooh, attacking AI run, actually. Oh. Uh, he actually moved into the space like that by himself? I mean, okay. Listen, hey. That was actually a pretty good run, man. Not bad. Maybe I have to give all my cards the dead eye chemistry style, eh, boys? <laughs> Just compensate for the dribbling being low. Even defending that situation with him right there nicely. Oh, he just his run. Yo, the dead eye chemistry style might be the go to, eh, boys? Acceleration touch on the inside. Shot from that angle. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Boys, am I going to have to give Deadeye to everybody? Like, uh, this might have to be like an experiment thing because it's attacking AI. Like, did you guys see how I was at the top and then I moved to the bottom and instantly moved to the bottom as well? I don't know, man. We're going to have to take a look at that stuff, dude. Because uh, this card, I'll tell you this right now, this card plays significantly better than I thought he would. Like, look, go down. He actually makes that run downwards without me even telling him to. 
I would happily compensate for the dribbling if their attacking AI is significantly better. One million percent. See what he does over here once we start to go downwards. Goes back into the middle. He's playing off of my dribbles nicely, actually, to be honest with you guys. That's the run right there. First time strike. That's like facing away from goal. Like normally when you get inside the 18 yard box, if you get a really good angle, just shoot the ball, man. Don't even like touch the ball. That situation you need to touch the ball because the angle is not good enough, but. Oh my goodness. Yo, this card is, is actually kind of sick with it. What? Yo, with that dead eye chemistry style, boys, I'm telling you, this car doesn't joke around, man. Three three goals already? Like what? Look at that attacking AI. He actually moves to the side when I need that support with him. He sticks to that wide position because uh, Lewandowski starts to occupy his position, which makes sense. I like how he drifts out wide right there, man. Not like super, super wide, but he, he drifts in the area where I, I like my attacking AI runs to happen with the striker, you know? It's pretty solid. His dribbling is not like crazy responsive, but it's something that I could definitely compensate for, for sure. Oh, no heading with him. <laughs> no heading under pressure. I think it's like an under pressure situation right there more than anything. Finesse shot from there. <laughs> it was a lofted finesse shot and he still hits a nice shot. Yo, I'm not even like strictly forcing the ball to this kid. And he's just like scoring opportunities for me. What's going on, bro? <laughs> First time pass. See if we can make that run right here. Fake shot. Finesse shot from that angle. Ah. That makes sense. He's coming off of the skill move right there, so you kind of have to settle the ball a little bit differently if you want to score those ones, but I'll tell you guys this right now, man. This card 100% surprised me. All right, guys. So final verdict on this card. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, it, it's it surprised me. <laughs> like, I'm being dead serious. Yo, it's weird, man. Like, is it is it one of those things where, like, the Deadeye chemistry style is just incredibly noticeable in these cards? Because if it is with the plus 15 on shot power, because I don't even feel like his shot power is terrible either, right? But with the plus 15 for shot power, plus 10 for finishing, and plus 10 for attacking positioning with the medium, medium work rates, this card was actually moving across the pitch really nicely. Like, he actually really surprised me. Now, I will say that there are two things that were incredibly noticeable with this card. Obviously, it's the fact that his uh, reactions is at a 77 and his composure is at a 74. Those things are definitely very noticeable for sure. Uh, the traits that he has in game, not having any, is kind of lackluster. You could tell with uh, the way he took the finesse shot, but you could still obviously hit it into the back of the net with the right shot power and finishing. Um, but, dudes, <laughs> this card is it, 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 it surprised me. I was going to use him on a basic chemistry style. Yeah, not anymore, bro. His... His pace is perfectly fine. Like, even if I had that on the sides, yes, he might not be the quickest to go on the counterattack, right? But I feel like he would still play the side positions really well with this chemistry style. I do see him mostly being used in the middle because of the Deadeye chemistry style being used on him uh, specifically because of not having specific uh, sprint speed in the side positions. But... I mean, the card is, is it's it's pretty usable in the middle positions. I was mostly using him as a striker, rotate him to the cam position, uh, a little bit to the sides as well. And honestly, he was he was pretty dope, man. He definitely surprised me for sure. I really wonder if it's like the Deadeye chemistry style that really influences how this card like moves around the pitch because his attacking AI was literally what I want most of my attacking players to do given certain circumstances. Like, you know how he makes that like kind of diagonal run in those certain areas where it kind of prepares for that getting behind role. I don't know. He was doing that like quite consistently, which was really strange to me. But um, yeah, the card's pretty cool, man. The thing about this card is that he's 82 rated. So if EA were to release an SPC, not SPC, excuse me, a gameplay objective where it's like, hey, you have to have like an 80 overall rating or a 77 like this um, 
managerial masterpiece one and 82 overall rating is actually pretty nice to have for these objectives because you usually just use like 75 76 overall rated players for like your defensive areas right so even lower sometimes you'd probably even use like your silver card so it's just food for thought for a card like this but he was actually way better than i thought he would be it's just the dribbling that also it does make sense in game and it was also his uh heading accuracy obviously he can't really head the ball that well so if you want to try to head the ball in the air he's not going to be great at it and then the volleys are going to be inconsistent but not terrible right so just food for thought with this card guys thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys for the next video peace out dudes love you guys